Now let's look at an example where we want the general solution to a trig equation. Consider the equation root 3 cos x minus sin x equals 1. And we're looking for the general solution. So we are going to start by first letting our root 3 cos x minus sine x equal to r and since we're starting with cos I'm going to have cos x and since I have a minus here I'm going to have plus alpha remembering that r squared is a squared plus b squared and tan alpha is b on a so my r is going to be root 3 squared plus 1 squared that would be r squared which gives me an r value of 2 and my tan alpha is going to be 1 on root 3 which results in alpha value of pi on 6 so Instead of solving the original, I can now look at solving 2 cos x plus pi on 6 equals 1, which is the same as cos x plus pi on 6 equaling a half. Alright, so looking at my quadrants, I have a positive cos is positive in the first and fourth and I'm looking for a half I know that would be pi and 3 in the first quadrant so x plus pi and 6 based on our general solution would be 2n pi plus or minus pi and 3 where n is an integer where n is an integer so my x is going to be 2n pi plus pi on 3 minus pi on 6 or two n pi minus pi on three minus pi on six. Therefore, my final general solution would be two n pi plus pi on six, as pi on three minus pi on six is pi on six, or two n pi minus and pi and 3 minus pi and negative pi and 3 minus pi and 6 is pi on 2.